thank you so much for being a part of our vlog. So many people are interacting and that's what this is all about. We had a couple dozen responses to this question. Does God allow suffering or why does God allow suffering? Right up front, we have to recognize that God hates sin, which leads to suffering. So we have to ground ourselves first in the macro story before we talk about the micro struggles. The macro story is this, God created, mankind fell, and then you have God taking matters into his own hands by sending his son Jesus to redeem or buy back. God hates suffering so much that he sent his one only son who conquered it for us, who died our death and then gave us hope beyond the grave for the fourth word, the restoration of all things. The day, Revelation chapter 21, when tears are dried and life wins forever. Death is dead, it's gone. So we have to understand the macro story of creation, fall, redemption, and then restoration. And then we get to, here's a, here's a Latin word for you, the crux telegorum. Like, what does that mean? It's Latin for why some and not others. You could look at it like, why do some people experience a life filled with all their needs being met and other people are steeped in poverty? Or why does my 15 year old in high school, they're experiencing so much joy and yet precious little Lauren, many of you know that story here recently, precious little Lauren went to be with Jesus in a tragic accident. Where are you, God? One, we look at the story of Job and God can handle our questions, our struggles, our suffering. So bring it to him. And then his word saturates us. So a lot of you in these comments, gosh, there were probably a dozen people who said, God doesn't cause, but he allows suffering. I, I guess you could say God allows it. If you immediately say it's tragic to God and he's done something about it, in his son and sending his son Jesus to conquer our suffering. And yet when we get down to those micro stories, a lot of times we submit to the goodness and grace of God. We yearn for that day when he, when he comes back. So uh, Sarah said this, we live amongst suffering and need to ground ourselves and our children in the hope of Jesus so we can look toward that day when there will be no more suffering and sadness. We have a right posture towards suffering, which leads to death. Jesus says, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So you understand the macro story, and then the micro realities, inevitable suffering, we recognize the goodness and grace of God shown in the person of Jesus the Christ. So thank you so much for being a part of this blog to vlog, continue responding, and can't wait for next month. Peace.